Hi girls, today we are gonna do a new no makeup look. And it's kind of fun for me today because I have some new makeup. I, for the first time, bought a little Chanel makeup and I thought you might like to see how it looks because it's kind of expensive and if you, like me, were thinking of getting some new makeup, this might be interesting to you too. So I've already uh, washed and moisturized my face. I put on a little concealer and so now I'm going to use a little CC cream. And this is not Chanel. This is something I have already used several times in my videos. It's from Skin, S-K-I-N-N. It's their uh, CC cream in medium. And I get it on evine.com and you can also get it on skin.com. So I'm just gonna kind of dot that all over and I'm gonna work it in slowly to give me a little bit of a base. Now, if you're a young woman and you have a skin that you feel confident with, you don't need to use a CC cream. You can probably just use the blush and the lip gloss and the mascara that I'm going to show you by itself if you want a little bit of a no makeup look. But for me, at my age, I feel better with a little CC cream on beforehand. Okay, so um, the blush that I'm going to be using is in golden sand this is what the case looks like and um it has a little mirror but um there's the color of the blush and the brush that comes with it and it turned out to be lighter than i thought it would be so if you have dark skin this would be a highlighter for you but it probably wouldn't work as a blush so i'm just going to take the blush and use this little brush that comes with it and apply a little bit on my cheeks and this is nice if you're traveling. Uh, sometimes when I'm traveling, I don't like too much makeup because I don't like the feeling of it after several hours. So this would be a look that would be great for me if I was on the go. And also, I like that it does come with a brush and you can just tuck the whole thing in your purse. But for now, I'm going to get rid of this little travel brush and I'm gonna use a little bit bigger brush and I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my face. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl, and then I'm gonna start from my jawline and kind of work up. And put a little on my forehead and my nose. And that's all you need. So you can see it's a nice, healthy, radiant color. It has the tiniest bit of shimmer, but not too much. And I think it's perfect if you want a no makeup look. And another thing I would do is I would put a little on my eyelids using just a little shadow brush. Kind of start with a little um, swish in the crease. And then I'm going to work that same shadow all from lid to brow. There. So we'll just kind of blend that a little bit. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do with this blush, and you'll see why in a second, is I'm gonna take a bit on my lips to give my lips just a little bit of bronzy color. There we go. So that's it for the blush. And the next thing I'm gonna be using is this lip gloss. And it is 722, 722. And um, if you translate it, it's um, nutmeg. I think it's called Noche Moscato or something like that. But anyway, it means nutmeg. I Googled it and that's what it looks like. It's just kind of a light brown color with a little pink in it. And it's almost the same as my skin tone. There we go. So you can see it adds a nice gloss. I love the feel of it. I love the containers that they use. They're very durable. It seems like you could just dump them in your purse. They could get knocked around quite a bit and they'd still look really good. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna do is mascara. I did get some Chanel mascara and I'm going to, this is black, just kind of apply this on my top lashes. 
because we're going for a really basic no makeup look, so we're not going to overdo it. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty even. So I really like this. It curls your lashes, it darkens them, it gives them a little bit of volume. And for me, it's just the most fun, pretty, no makeup look. And so that's it for today. I'm gonna to show you one thing <clears throat> that I really like for travel since we're on the subject of travel. And it's this cute little fake fur bag. I got this, I'm gonna kind of pull it back a bit, um, on QVC maybe a year or two ago. And I didn't know if I'd use it or not, but I do. And inside is a little lap blanket. It's a matching color. And it's just kind of a narrow, but really warm, really cozy little blanket that you can throw over your lap if you're traveling in the car or if you're going on the plane. I really love it. Now, they don't have, let me get my computer, the exact same thing anymore. What they have now is, I'm gonna show you this one, which is actually, in my opinion, better. I have this on um, mute, but you can see the bags now are bigger and they're a little more animal print. But my problem with my bag was that um, you couldn't really fit much else into the bag. So if you wanted to take it as your carry along on the airplane, you really couldn't because it was too tight of a squeeze to fit anything else in there. So now it seems like the bags are bigger, they have the little throw in there, but you could also put some cosmetics, you know, maybe a change of clothes and get that all in the same bag. So I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. It's just a basic little neutral colored dress and some neutral colored shoes. So I hope you like it. I hope you liked my new makeup and this little tutorial. I hope you have a fantastic day, ladies. I love you so much. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.